Hello. Uh, we're back into business of jewelry making. Uh, last time in the two of the programs that we have uh, placed, right, um, that we were not able to leave it permanently, it was because um, the one place were not able to catch up with the other one. And, and that's how we uh, continue in another way. But I told you last time that we are surrounded by rivers, right? And there's so many things that we can find in, around. And so what we have around here, we, have, uh, we go to the, um, to the river to collect shells, right? We have shells around here. All these shells are from uh, around the river. And there are so many kinds, right? As you see around here, we have uh, different kinds of shells. They have been already pre-washed for 10 days and they're very clean right now. And what we do with them is something very simple, right? Um, we are gonna choose two to work with. Vamos, este, aquí en, en Texas estamos rodeados de ríos, ¿verdad? Y vamos este, a colectar todas las conchas que ya le enseñé hace un rato, ¿verdad? Y este, nos ponemos a trabajar con ellas. Las lavamos con jabón. No se le puede poner otra cosa más. Jaboncito, ¿verdad? Jabón. Se dejan remojar por 10 días, ¿verdad? Le cambia el jabón a como vea que es, no están quedando limpias. Y cree que... Uh, if you believe that you can uh, put extra time in, in washing those shells, you can go ahead and do it as, as long as they look nice and white. And they have a very nice, uh, beautiful white, right? It's a very shiny color. This is one of the projects that we have today. Another one is that all this little debris that we have around here, right? Little corals uh, and some undone pearls. And these are uh, cores, pink cores. This is a uh, carnelian, right? And all these stones are surround around the rivers, right? All the rivers. This must must be like a tiger eye. It's uh, broken, right? This uh, this uh, aquamarine, right? Can be aquamarine. It can be even diamond, like D class, which is not very clear. And this is a carnelian mixed with pearl together. All these little stones are just right beside uh, the um, oysters, right? Those oysters let the, de the debris they have inside um, all the way out and they get in. These are also uh, undone pearls, right? Mixed with some other debris. And these little pearls, uh, come in and out from the shell and that's how they end up having those different kinds of colors and the nacre comes over some other kind of little stones and that's how the the, the stones come out mixed. This is an undone, undone uh, pearl, the little pearl right right there. And these other ones are some other kind of uh, uh, stones, right? And um, we see, right, this is another pearl, undone pearl, right? And it's almost uh, uh, coming off because it's a very, very nice. Uh, last time, uh, we got together some uh, materials in order to keep, um, to keep the gem inside right you can see how beautiful it looks right it's, it's going to be preserved inside of uh, the material right and we gather the um over here it says it's called uh, glue sticks it's some sort of uh it's some um uh, some people right call it um uh, uh, adhesive right because they do not understand uh, the terms right and um, uh, some people call them acid right and some other people call them a different uh, kinds of uh, um, ways of putting gems together right especially when you're repairing them right 
and um, we we find over here right that there are several things we have uh, this this uh, uh, um, chemicals that we work with in order uh, to um, to put things together. These are called silicon, also, right there. Silicon, and it gets drier, drier, and drier, right? And um, these are something you can work with uh, wood, also, right? Resin. It's called also resin, right? And this other one also, they're called resins, right? And in regards of uh, gluing things, especially if you're gonna make jewelry for the children, what you can do, right, is use to 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 clear them and to uh, make them uh, safe. Um, we have uh, the base coat, right? A base coat is what people use with the nails, right? And that's how we put a nice cover on, on the surface, right? To protect the skin of children, right? Because that's what it's made for. It's a coat. It's a transparent, which, it pro which protects the, the gem or the shell. And at the same time, it provides a shiny color. There is a box of tools, right? That it can be purchased in the hardware, right? And also in a place where you can go and all these little things um, are with the intentions to work and polish and shape the stones, right? And oval uh, angles, different kinds of angles or triangles or, you know, you can just provide whatever shape you want to give to the stone, right? A lot of people have complained that the, stone, the stones are not easy things to make holes to with, right? anything and that's how uh, we believe that we have to, to to find out and learn which tools you can use in order to make holes into stones right and um, right here we have a, a range right this is a little wire you can uh, as you see the stone and you see that you can uh, wrap around a nice wire right um, you can make a, a beautiful uh, jewels jewelry right and i i like the shape for this kind of oval they're almost rounded right and it's a beautiful uh, arrangement which embellish this the gem right and um, um these are uh this is a pink course and um this is a uh, tiger's eye and this is a uh, citrine and over here we have um uh, this other citrine and aquamar or aquamarine and so today what we're gonna do is that we're gonna perfor perforate the shells right like we were talking about we're gonna um, choose this one right which we already clean or we have uh, already processed and uh, we're gonna make a little hole right we're gonna make it look nice and white so we're gonna make the hole right there And it doesn't take for a long time either. Um, it's the something. It's a, it's a very simple process, right? Uh, and you see all the nacre coming out from the shell. And it's a very, very easy process, so very nice. Right? Don't be afraid, right? The kit to make jewelry is not very expensive, and it goes from a you find it at a good price from $15 to $37 and from there you can make a lot of very nice jewelry and usually a lot of people what people do if they want to uh, make money with all the things they find around because you can make jewelry with any kind of stone you can make jewelry with anything anything that you find right This one is ready. You can make jewelry with almost anything, all the stones, because the idea, right, to to have uh, jewelry or with gems, right? Uh, usted puede hacer este, it's a very nice hole right there. Usted puede hacer este joyería con 
eh, cualquier pedazo de, de piedra que se encuentra, ¿verdad? Las, las uh, piedras, ¿verdad? Son, uh, se pueden trabajar, se pueden labrar y de ahí se pueden hacer las joyas. Le, le da este un poquito de, de brillo, as long as you provide some shine and shape and, and, and it looks nice and shiny and it's a gem right there, ¿verdad? From where all the uh, beautiful jewels came from, right? <laughs> And then uh, this, the nice thing about this equipment is that this is a safety device. As soon as you finish, unplug it so that way you don't have accidents, right? Uh, because all these things are, we have to uh, follow safety precautions, right? In order to work with this kind of tool. So now that we have uh, uh, the gem, the, the gem or the shell, now that it's already with the hold in it, right? We're gonna proceed to put it in a loop, right? We we grab a loop, right? We have a loop right there. This one is 621 uh, silver, right? We grab the loop and we open the loop, right? And we're gonna place the shell in here. And we're going to have a very nice shell. All these uh, little uh, loops are already uh, pre-made. But if, if you don't want to purchase them, it's okay, right? Um, you can make them, right? There is a very nice wire we can use in order to, to put. As you see, it's right there. It looks beautiful. It's ready to put the little chain, right? Or the string in it a lot of uh, ladies right what they do is just to 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 grab a, one of those um, little strings right that they purchase um, in the store or they made uh, the uh, the string right it can be called a jute cord right the jute cord right it has and it comes in different colors right and we have a very nice green, right, which goes very nice with the white. And we have very nice, this This is a beautiful color, right? And um, we see that it can uh, be attached to this, to this uh, nice shell, right? And all these uh, little uh, pendants, right, are for to give to friends, right? To give to friends in Christmas, on their birthdays, to the children, and and even though for um for um for business, right? Uh, some people they go to um to the thrifting, yeah, to the flea market to do the business, and they sell. You'll be surprised that the people come out come uh, home with um with resources, right? With financial resources in or in order to um um. You know to save money for the year for extra expenses right and now we have a nice a nice pendant just right there it's a nice shell right it's a jute it's something um, delicate uh, made right for business and as you see you put it on and it looks nice and it looks really nice with jeans with uh, turtlenecks right and, and and you see it, it's something very nice uh, a lot of people, what they do, if they want to give it to the children, they make a little knot, right, at the end. Because that, that way, they just put it on and, and forget about all kinds of strings and, and all kinds of uh, hooks and all kinds of little little nice things. And, and it looks really nice just like that. And, and, and it will be nice. I mean, they will look nice with this kind. It's, it's for a head, a normal head shape, right? And as you see, it looks beautiful. And 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 it, this one is worth it in between four dollars and and ten dollars, right? Just right there is a piece of jewelry. If you attach a pearl to it, right, <clears throat> which is which we have uh, plenty of pearls in the rivers, right? There is one pearl right there, right? It looks really nice, also with a pearl on the side, right? Right. It, it, I mean, you can do that too, right? As long as you feel like it looks nice. And it will look very, very nice with a pearl also. And and these are some of the styles, right? We 
we put together some of the some of the carnelians, right? Which is the the little uh, round uh, stone with uh, some of some of the resins, right? That you can take it off, right? As as uh, you believe is uh, better for you to see the stone, right? And we embedded the little carnelian into the ring of uh, silver, 921 silver, right? And you can leave it like that and put it in a little chain, or you can make, uh, you can hook the, the loops together, right? And to make it look uh, like this one, right? And you put uh, the carnelian, right, embedded in the, in the loop, in the last loop, right? And just make it look very nice. And there's uh, some pearls, right, that they were uh, together um, already, right? And this is a piece of wire. This is the, the wire. If you don't want to purchase the loops, you can make, uh, you can just cut the, the, the wire, right? The wires are coming in um, this kind of row. row. I mean, it, these are... Um, Silver beading wire, right? 921, 921 silver. And uh, it's a 6.1 millimeter. And it's something really nice. So you can bend this wire, right? It's like this little piece. I put, uh, I chopped up uh, the wire, right? Previously, and in order to put it in, right and some uh, some of the stones and some of the loops because i mean you can um put this um wire around there right and twist it twist it lo puede poner verdad el wire el pedacito de alambre de plata y este le da una vuelta verdad y ahí le queda y se ve bonito verdad Depende cómo este le, le ayuden sus manos también, ¿verdad? Y ahí lo pusimos, ¿verdad? Mire, ya está listo. Ahí está el, 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 el loop, ¿verdad? Para ponerle la cadenita, ¿verdad? O el cordoncito que a usted le guste. Porque hay muchas clases de cordoncitos, ¿verdad? Ese es uno de los cordoncitos que nos hemos encontrado. Y le hemos este, ya puesto estos que están listos, ¿verdad? En su sobrecito para que la gente se los lleven. Este es de piel de carnero, ¿verdad? Estos nomás los pusimos así, como le digo, con el nudito ahí, porque las gentes así se los llevan, ¿verdad? Entonces, este ya está listo, ¿verdad? Y ahí ellos pueden escoger la gema que les guste, que quieran ponerle, ¿verdad? Ya sea que encuentren ellos la gema que les guste. Y así como ve usted que, que este se ha lavado, mire, tengo aquí en las botellitas estas, Miren, son las, son los, estos supuestamente son eh, Fire Ruby River Stone. Y ahí están. Y me la he pasado, ¿verdad? Eh, en mis tiempos, ¿verdad? Que estoy leyendo, estoy viendo programas. Le he dado vuelta para que se laven y también alcancen un brillo, ¿verdad? En este otro lado tengo este perla. Aquí está. Estas son este, aquamarinas. Son aquamarinas y hay de diferentes colores. Y también me la he pasado dándole vuelta a esta para que agarren un color brilloso. Y acá tengo este, perlas chiquitas, de las más chiquititas. También las estoy lavando y le damos vuelta. ¿verdad? Estamos dándole vuelta. Y aquí tengo estas eh, que también me pongo a darle vuelta ¿verdad? para que puedan alcanzar este, un cierto brillo. Estas son piedritas transparentes, todas son piedritas transparentes, amarillas, verdes, rojas, rosas, este, azules, ¿verdad? Y ahí es donde están mezcladas todas, ¿verdad? Tenemos este, organizadas, ¿verdad? Desde las piedras más chiquitititas, mire, están las piedras más chiquitas, son muy pequeñitas. Hasta este, otras mucho más pequeñas, ¿verdad? Que casi no se pueden ver. Y este, con el interés eh, de poder trabajar con ellas este, detalle por detalle. Aquí tenemos este, una, un debris, ¿verdad? Que 
se tiene que limpiar, ¿verdad? Pero es, se tiene que hacer poco a poquito, ¿verdad? Este, como verán, este no es muy difícil. La joyería se puede hacer. Eh, hemos hecho este, anillos, ¿verdad? Los anillos, eh, mire, este es este, de la piel de carnero, ¿verdad? Y ya empaquetamos aquí un sinnúmero de, de anillos. Estas ya están listas para la venta, ¿verdad? Esta, estos son anillos que hemos hecho con wire, como el, 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 el wire que le digo esta de, de, de la plata, ¿verdad? Agarramos, ¿verdad?, el tamaño de, eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama?, de instrumento para este, el, el tamaño de los anillos, ¿verdad? Y se le acomoda la forma del wire alrededor de la piedra, como usted crea que que la piedra se ve más bella, como la piedra se vería más bonita. Ahí están los anillos. Mire, este es un wire, ¿verdad? Todos estos wires, así como se encuentran, este está alrededor 3, 4 veces, ¿verdad? Y le puede poner, cuando eh, aprende a usar la torcha, ¿verdad? Lo cierra con oro, ¿verdad? Lo pinta con oro. Y no es realmente difícil, es algo que se aprende, ¿verdad? La torcha es como una, un lighter, ¿verdad? Y este, mire qué bonita. Esta es una piedra, es una piedrita también muy bella, ¿verdad? Este, mezclada, ¿verdad? Este es el yute con, con los hooks, ¿verdad? Que ya están puestos, ¿verdad? Ya todo tiene su sobrecito, ya está listo para ir al mercado y ponerse, ¿verdad? A hacer mercadería, ¿verdad? Con la gente. Este es, como le habíamos dicho, un embebido en silicón para preservar la piedra en su tamaño bello y original. Esos son otros, ¿verdad? Son otros anillitos que se hacen. Y así se puede ir, ¿verdad? A, al mercado a poner este, a la venta eh, todas esas cosas. Ese cuidado que le hemos enseñado, ¿verdad? Con respecto a las, a las conchas, nosotros ya estamos listos, mire. 10 días y tenemos las conchas con su perla. En su, en su bolsita, ya están listas para el mercado y son 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. They're like a 40, 40 shells with a pearl in it. It's an uh, irregular pearl, right? It's a pink pearl, white pearl, uh, partial pearl, irregular pearl. But all of them are sweet river water pearls, right? And all of them are ready. And as soon as as we can, we're going to go to the flea market, right, to sell everything we have. Hello, Cookie. Hello. You want to make a jewelry? You do? <laughs> Just... Hang in there, Mamerita. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. And right here, we made... Um, sit down, Mamerita. Sit down. Sit down. We made uh, uh, earrings, right? The earrings are pre-made. Um, it's uh, silver, right? $9.29. And we uh, put the stone in a little wire, right? That's what we did. Um, the... Uh, And they look very nice. We have them over here uh, to show how beautiful they look, right? And they're uh, equal, right? And we continue. These are bracelets, right? It's uh, uh, with a uh, beautiful um, course. We have a ribbon. This one is with ribbon, and it's already closed, but uh, we'll show you in, an, in another session how to make this kind of uh, colors. They're uh, pendants, they look beautiful. This is a very nice jute, right? Everything is already uh, ready for to take it to the market, right? To see how it, how it works, how it looks like. This is a very nice citrine, right? And it's just right there with a little piece of wood, right? And it's also ready, right? It doesn't have any Any mystery, right? We can do everything. We can uh, arrange things in order to make it look beautiful, right? And um, 
like we were telling you, we hit the silicone, right, which is this one, right? You can use the resin or you can use, right, following up with a little pearl, right, that we can attach to this place. Because to have, uh, the reason that the pearls come off is that we need to be sure that the pearls don't have any kind of insects underneath the, the shell, right? And we had to inspect them very well if you want them uh, for sale, right? Because uh, the, 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 the other thing that it can happen is that there's some uh, insects around it. And, you know, insects are just insects and they can live under the skin, right? And so that's how we think we have to be careful, right? So we proceed, right, to put uh, a little bit of... Uh, silicone right in it and wait for a little bit to get dry and this is very hot don't forget to use um, don't forget to use um, your um, your glasses right don't forget to use your glasses and we have uh, this little thing right there and since it's a very white a white uh, shell is better to look for something white also and it's just right there it look really nice right and uh, we see right that um, we have to that this kind of uh, silicone, right, like we're talking, they get uh, they get dry very fast. And they get dry very, very fast. So we have to act really, really quickly also to put the, the stone in it. just right there okay and we can go and proceed to put something clear on it right to make it look shiny and to protect the skin this is um it's a base coat it's a uh, you know top coat right to put uh, some sort of a precaution in and to use the little shell. And, and by, by putting uh, this kind of little things around, you see that uh, it, makes, it makes it look nice. And you protect your shell, your skin, right? And that's how we have a very nice and shiny. And it looks very nice. Well, let us just stop right there, right? To keep up with jewelry workshops. The Lord bless you.